Hello, good afternoon. I am just searching for my post-it notes because they have decided to go walkies. They always do, don't they? Hi, Noah. I don't know where I've put them. I've not got a clue where they are. I'll have to improvise. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little bit late. I um... oh, There they are. Hang on. Let me not unplug my network cable. That's not a good idea, is it? Oh. Right, there we go. Oh, now I'm pressing buttons, I think. They... Right, I'm sorted now. Sorry about that. Mr. Roo asked me to help him with something, uh, moving a bed that'll take two minutes. No, it didn't. It took a lot longer. So, hi, Noel. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Nicola. Ooh. Hi, Maxine. Hi Leslie, and to your granddaughter, hello there. Hi Marjorie. Hi Suze. So, there we go. Right, I'll calm down now. <laughs> been running around like a little chicken. Then I lost my post-it notes and I'd lost my little sponges. Anyway, I will. I think I'm sat on the heater as well now. Let me just move that out of the way. Because it's going to be beeping away at us. Right. Calm, it's crafting time. I've got a funny squeak. <laughs> right, I'll calm down now. Right, so this afternoon uh, we are going to be looking at October's monthly make still. Um, November's have gone out. The post lady um, loved me this morning with those big, big bags. Um, so they have gone out, so they should be with you over the next few days, hopefully. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing on Friday at lunchtime so we can have a look at what's in November's box. But for today, we are going to play with October's because it's not fair me showing you um, what you're getting in your boxes when they've only just been sent out. Hi, Sean. So we're going to get a bit messy. Um, so I have got my fabric paints in front of me. Um, and when you see your monthly mate box... <laughs> going to know where I've got the inspiration for this colour palette from. So I've got a lovely green, it's apple green, and I've got baby pink or rose pink, uh, sorry dark rose, I think I'm going to go dark rose because them two look really nice together. It looks really red on screen, it's not, it's like a really bright, um, intense pink, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see in a minute. Um, and so I've got a little paint tray with me, and then I've got one of these lovely cotton Tea towels. So these are just the cheap ones from Baker Ross. Nothing special. Um, I think if you've, we've done these in workshops before now, so you'll have seen them before. They're huge. Let me just as tea towels go. Mine's probably mine are normally about half the size of this. It doesn't say how big it is, um, but it is. It's pretty big. It's about half a meter wide. And um, so there you go. So before we even get onto the fabric bit. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? With my desk, I might have to move the camera out. I hadn't quite thought that bit through. Um, what I thought we'd do is use the poly plate to begin with, the little hexagon, and create a bit of a repeating pattern, and then go in with some of our funny frames around it. And then just go in and add bits into them. So we've got a bit of a decorative tea towel. I know, exciting stuff. Oh, Maxine's got a grandson, how cool. But he's having fun. <laughs> so I'm going to move this to one side because I've only got one little poly plate. Yeah, so if I pull this over here. And I want to do a repeat pattern. So instead of having two, you know like when I do my oxides and things like that, I have to um, wipe it between each colour. Yeah. With paint it gets a bit messy so what i'm going to do is create a little template so I, it gives me a size yeah so we know where we're going to stamp it okay right Ooh. i'm going to put that over there for now i'm going to grab actually i can cheat even more can't i mm. i still haven't washed my stamps so they don't want to stick at all so, let me just go back quick one So 
still like it's the full of dust. You can feel the, um, you know, like if you're anti static bagging and things like that on it. Not a pretty sign. All I need is a rough outline, so that's why I wanted my post it notes before. And any colour ink will do. Oh, doesn't even have to be perfect stamping. Good job. <laughs> There we go, and then just make sure you stamp it up near your sticky. I'm going to do a couple of these. Take it off there, and just grab. I'm just going to grab a wadge of post-it notes. I'm just going to cut them up, and then I can place these in so that I know. I've got it lovely, I've got it all spaced right and I can just go all through my greens and then all through my pinks without having to keep washing my paints. So the paints I'm using are um, Deco Art So Soft paints and they are fabulous. I love So Soft paints and um, best bit is you don't have to heat seal them. So as long as you give them, it says 48 hours but I've washed mine after 24 and they've been fine and they are good. I've got some in, um, I've got some like homemade face wipes in the bathroom with so soft on it, and they probably get washed. Everyone gets washed probably every other day because I've got that many, um, and they're only just starting to fade. And we did them about a year ago, so anything will fade after that. So, so poly plates are ready. we go green first or pink first? We might do the green and then it'll tell us which one to use. Hi Jackie! Oh, Susie's got some eclipse, eclipse masking tape. Love that stuff. Lasts for ages as well. So I'm going to put a good wadge of paint in there. And I'm just going to clear the decks a little bit. If you are working on a precious worktop, make sure you put something underneath because a really good paint is going to seek into the fabric and through the fibres. And what I should have done is given this a quick iron. I know I'm swearing now. Um, I don't iron anything, me. I'm going to move my paints alongside while I draw. Get this all positioned again. I'm only going to do one edge. Oh, we can see that perfect. Yep, just like that. And I might even cheat and use, you see how we've got this um, fold line here? I might use that as a bit of a guide at some point. So, got that all there. And I just need a little sponge. Now, sponges, you could use um, like makeup sponges and things like that, but those things can cost a fortune, or they used to. So I just use ordinary bath sponge, cut up into little triangles. I like triangles, um, but you um, you just need to make sure you pop lots on it. So the one saying she's tried paints on poly plates, been no success. Make sure it's got um, a thin layer of water first. So. I'm just going to give mine a quick wipe. Yep, so I can swish my finger over it. So the poly plate's fed. It's nice and fed now. And then you need more paint than you think you're going to need. I'm going to put this down here so I don't ink up onto my um, mat. This is why I normally have lots and lots of space. So grab some on your sponge. And then I'm just going to not overload it and then lots and lots of gentle taps really load him up and you're better off in a cooler environment when you're doing your paints on your poly plates so it sits on there a bit more so can you see I've got a really nice layer on there put that to one side and then let's get going shall we so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start off the edge actually I'm trying to eyeball it so it looks about level with the base there. Just 
give it a real good press and what you can normally see, I don't know if you can see it on there, um, you can start to see like the the grain of the fabric, the texture of the fabric coming through and just lift it up. There we go. So now where did I put them post-it notes? Oh it's gonna be one of them days. <laughs> Gonna be one of them days, ladies. I do apologise already. I'm gonna pop my little post-it note on there. I'm gonna pop it so it's sticky. It is got a nice little gap. Again, I'm just gonna pop my paint on here. Polyplates do like a looser paint, so if it was a very heavy-bodied paint, you're better off adding a little bit of water to it. So I'm thinking of things like the. Um, what they're called, they're in a funny flat tub, a bit like the embossing tubs we have. Those ones are really thick and heavy. Yeah. So if it's a really thick, heavy paint, you really do need to um, just... Sorry, I'm concentrating. Hang on a second. Oopsie. <laughs> Make sure your table's clear first. Pop this one up there. So it was the same, but a heavy bodied, yeah. What I normally do with my heavy body ones is just add a little bit of water to them just to loosen them up. The So Soft fabric paints are amazing because they are such a loose paint. That's going to wipe my thing there. You see, you get into the habit, don't you? Of having, um, where you like your distress inks and things like that, oxides and things, having to wipe. You don't need this. So I'm going to put one in here now. So I'm going to leave that, um, Oh, it's not a mask, is it, this time? It's a positioner, something like that. And just be careful. If you're a little bit worried, you see how I've got paint around mine? Just give it a quick... Especially if you're using quite... Um, you know, like if you're stamping onto a bag or something that's got two layers, make sure you put something hard between the two. Cardboard doesn't cut it. I normally use, like, a, a poly mount or something behind mine. I've actually got some really thick ones I normally use for my fabric. I'm going off at an angle now, never mind. Oh, I've not heard of Peebo's paint. I wouldn't know if it was a thick one or a thin one, that one, in, in all honesty. Oh yeah, um, Pebo is quite a thick paint, sorry. I just read that. Now, where should we put the next one? So that's going to go there. So just pattern building, you see me do this so many times with our lovely poly plates. Actually, I think I might do three. So a pink one there, pink one there, and then if we grab this one, do it in threes and then ta taper it down a little bit. So we get next to nothing towards the other end. Pop that one in there. So I've got my position now. I'm going to pop one here. So that'll be that one. Right, let's get some more paint going. I'll show you how much paint I've used in a minute. As you can see, just gentle taps all over. So you've got quite a layer on there. Maybe this one here. I'm going right over a crease now, so that bit's going to be in the way. Put under my arm. <laughs> Pop that one down there. This one. So can you see I didn't clean up my plate, I've got little little splodges just around the edge where I've just overloaded it a bit too much. Oh I've got another one there, we'll put that in there. Actually I quite like it going down to two. We'll put that one there and our next one there. Yes. There we go. Put that down my ink. I have had a habit in the past. You've probably noticed I'm a bit conscious of um, adding my paint on top of my fabric. And that is because I have before now gone boom. You've know, gone to ink up my, my poly plate or my stamp and gone straight onto my fabric. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? Pink. Do we say this one here? Should we put that one there and then we'll do a pink one there? Look 
looking very random, isn't it? You have to go there. And so we'd have a pink one there. We've got pink, pink. Sounds a bit like a wiggly worm, isn't it? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pink in next and then we'll keep bringing it across. So all I'm going to do to get rid of my paint off my poly plate is just give it a quick wipe down. Oops. And you will find your paints, especially the really heavy pigmented ones, will stain your um, poly plates a little bit. Nothing to worry about. It's a bit like brush -oh. You know it's a decent paint if it's, it's pigmented. Heavily pigmented paint. There we go. And then pink time, what do we think? I'm actually going to go with the pale pink. I think that pink pink is too much. A bit too much for me. Yep. Yep, distressed paints work really well on them because they're, they are a looser paint. Um, like I said, I normally use the cheap, you know, one pound ones from like B&M and things like that. Um, cheap acrylics. They work really well because they are generally a very loose paint. Jackie's working on a beautiful October project. Ooh, ooh. I know I've, um, I have seen there's some lovely pictures in our group. I've just not sat down and gone through them all yet. I wanted to sit down, you know, and have time to look properly and not just whiz through the pictures. Because I like to figure out how people have done stuff. So I'm just going to pick some of this pink up onto my sponge. I don't like having to, can you see there, where you can just see um, still the texture of the sponge. If, it, if you have too much on your sponge, you, that's when you start to get bits around your edge, yeah? If you have it so you can still see the texture of your sponge, you know you're not going to overload your poly plate too quickly. So build it up in layers, I think is what I'm trying to say. Where's that one? And the best bit about using these little bath sponges is at the end of it, instead of trying to I've not put any in there, can you see? I can virtually see through just there. Put up a bit more. There we go. Looks like um the really bad um what do you call it? The ceiling, decal ceiling that we're trying to paint at the moment that's just not letting us paint. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop that one there. Moment of truth time, whether I should have gone with the darker one or not. Oh no, like that one. I'm just going to take these out. And then I'm going to this up again. So you can see it's really easy to build your patterns. Same as we were doing with our distress oxide or we do with our inks. I'm just doing it with paint. No difference. So I'm going to have to take my cardio off because I've just pulled. I've got a feeling I'm going to end up with a hexagon shaped mark right on me sleeve and my card if I'm not careful. Um, Nicola's asking when will the October ones be ready to buy? Um, to be fair, I've got I have got them ready. I just haven't had a chance with it being school holidays to pop them on website. I'm hoping kids went back today. Um, I'm hoping to play catch up over the next few days. So to answer your question, I have got them. They are ready to go on website. I just haven't quite got them. Oh, thank you. The pink is lovely. It is this one's baby pink I'm using. It's a bit of an odd one because I think I actually think it's more of a um, like a peachy pink than a baby pink. But working with that lovely green, I don't know what colour that green was. It's like a lime green. But I know it's not called lime green. It might be yellow green or apple green. I think it's apple green. There we go. Let's keep adding them in. And I love, can you see here? I haven't quite got that bit fully done. But it doesn't really matter. This one's hardly going to print at all because I've put no paint on it. There we 
There you go. And you'll see I am pressing quite hard. See, I, I said I, I saw as I went to put it down, I had none on here, but I love that texture getting. Can you see it's just starting to dry as well? I need to get it off my desk as well. You're starting to get like a little, like a distressed look to it, so it's not perfect. Um, if I wanted it perfect, I'd have to spend more time inking up. Yep. Whereas with this, you're getting a lovely distress, and we'll get the same when we come to do our outline. I thought I had paint on my fingers then. I don't, I'm fine. That is the key though, you have to be kind of um, neat and tidy, and I do struggle with that a little bit, as you well know. I can do messy, but I can't do neat and tidy. I'm going to have to start reading this out of the way as I start to move across. So this one's going to go here. I'm actually liking how we're getting... It wasn't intentional. I don't even know how I've done it. It wasn't planned, shall we say. But it's time to get that lovely... I think we're going to keep that going across. Now... If I lift this back, I need to just be a little bit careful because they're not dry just yet. Can you see I've got splodges on my desk? So before I move it that way, I'm just going to wipe my desk quickly because I don't want it coming back through. Yeah, coming back from the reverse. So yeah, you know, if I'm putting inky pinky marks on myself, that's fine. But when my desk is putting them on, no, it's not on. Can we still see that? There we go. We're going to keep working across this mammoth tea towel. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the pink because that's what's on my plate at the moment. And I just need to pop a little bit more on. Can you see I've used all that pink I put in? Let's just grab a little bit more. She says. <laughs> I'm always, too, I'm always frightened of squeezing paint too much and it all coming flooding out. So that's probably what I had the first time with my paint. Yeah. So I am using quite a lot, but it doesn't look like it because I'm layering it with my sponge. I've tried putting it on with a paintbrush before now and it just, you know, not right at all. It's so much easier just using a little sponge. Can you see there? I picked a load up onto my sponge. If I put that straight onto my poly plate, I'm just going to end up with splodges. So you want it so you can see the grain through. This is why most of my paint palettes have the paint in two different places. <laughs> there we go. And then let's keep our little pink wiggly worm going, shall we? That one here, I think we've made it halfway. <gasps> Put that down there. And actually, I think this pink one is going to go the whole length. We'll drop the green off a bit earlier. Sound like he was going to school or something, isn't it? We'll drop the pink off on it. Uh, drop the green off on the way. There you go. Keep going. See, this is where I start to get impatient because I want to see it finished. I'm not a very patient crafter. You've probably figured that out. <laughs> well, hi, Lynn. So I'm going to pick that one up. Just be careful. Did you see then I rolled it into that one? So I'm just going to take my finger down there just in case I had any bits. I didn't, but you never know. Um, I can do Nicola. We have got some in stock. I don't know what colours we've got. Um, but they are really, really good little fabric paints. I highly recommend them. Because a lot of fabric paints you get are um, actually just either... Um, what's it called? Like a poster paint with a, a binder in it or an acrylic with a binder whereas these have been specifically made for fabric they do say they work on wood they are pants on wood they are a fabric paint 
they are brilliant you don't have to heat set them or anything so they're great for working with kids as well so my two I know are safe with these because I don't have to then get the iron out or anything hi Pauline again just it's that little noise I don't know if you can hear it it's like little nibbly like kissy noises. Hi Sandy. Just keep inking this up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep calling it inking up. I know it's not, but it's close enough. So this one, I'm going to, ooh, we're putting it there whether we want to or not. one more or should we just leave it like that so it kind of goes I think we might leave it like that so again normally I'd be dunking these into a bucket of water but because I want to use it again straight away I'm just wiping it down with a wet cloth don't be using any or don't be tempted to use any washing up liquid or anything on your um, stamps or poly plates I completely forgot what the word was then um, stamps or poly plates the container degreaser because that's what they're made to do aren't they they're um, just to get your food off your plates so that is their aim is to degrease and we don't want grease on our uh, degreases near our stamps because basically they're, they're made from their raw product is oil so we don't want to break them down so to clean it off warm water just get in there and scrub them with um, a, pay a toothbrush if you have got some tricky bits these are great because there's no rough edges is there brilliant Whereas, um, like sayings and sentiments and things like that, they can be a bit of a nightmare to clean up. I normally leave them in a bucket and then Mr. Ruth finds them about a week later and he'll stand there and clean them for me. I am naughty, I know. And I have before now. I don't think Claire's on because she'll, um, she'll remember this. I put a load of stamps and poly plates into a sweet tub that had water in it after a workshop because we were um, racing to, to pack up I said oh don't worry just bung them in there leave a bit of water in it they'll be fine and the sweet tub just got moved and about a week later I couldn't remember where my stamps were gone for the life of me I couldn't remember where my stamps were but there was this tub of sweets I sat looking at me I thought oh. you know when you keep hanging them up and then I went to open this tub of sweets and they weren't sweets <laughs> they were my stamps but because they'd all been sat in water they'd all turned blue from the blue paint that had been used I wasn't impressed because I wanted the sweets <laughs> but at least I found my stamps <laughs> ever since then whenever we've done paint and things like that Claire always makes sure she messages me about two days later going have you remembered your, your stamps I'm so disappointed about the sweeties <laughs> right so I'm going to put that one in here yeah we need a little bit more don't we just one more green I think what do we think I quite like how that's just running running down yeah should we leave it like that I think one more there would make it look daft because we need another pink one. I'm going to leave it there so I'm just wiping my poly plate. There we go. All good. So let's put that to one side again. I just need to be careful now because my cloth's getting a bit inky. inky. I'm going to put my poly plate up there to dry. And we're now going to move back to our lovely frames. So what do you think? Oh, see you later, Noala. Now, what do we think for our frames? I'm just going to wipe my desk again. Oh, I didn't realise they'd quite got. So you can see when it's still wet on the reverse lock. You just get little patches of bits. I want to use my wibbly wobbly frame because I really do like that one. So I think that'll look 
quite nice over the top. Just like that. I'm going to grab the stamping block and hope. There we go. I'm just going to give this a quick wipe because it looks like it's got Versa Fine on it. Versa. Yeah, Versa Fine on it. So I just want to make sure I get my black lines off because when I put my um, paint on that it'll just come off the first one I do it'll be a bit dark so I'm just giving it a quick rub to get that off there we go so it's as clean and it is probably going to get I'm going to start on this end and there we go and what colour do you think what, what colour do you reckon around the edges part of me is thinking I might just do pink on the pink ones and then see if I've got a darker that's what we'll do I think use that dark pink around the edges then we'll think about what we're going to do with our green ones because I never thought what I was going to do around the edges with. so again I'm just going to pop some paint out don't need as much this time and I'm just going to grab another one of my sponges oh look at that one <laughs> it's a diddler diddle of that one and then now I don't know if I can just tell you what let me squeeze that that way and I'll bring that there like that so for this one I'm going to be really careful yeah so I don't want hardly any on my sponge so having a small sponge for this works and then literally I'm making sure I only tap it where I want it to be. So just be a little bit more careful, she says, and then look at that for splodging. Oh, I could say that in the end. Never mind. Be fine. And I'm just going to pop this on top. I didn't need that edge anyway, did I? <laughs> there we go. Keep going. Give a teeny tiny little bit of paint and work it around the edge. I'm going to try and speed up a little bit because I'm sure it's like what, well, it is, it's watching paint dry today. So. <laughs> I suppose we could have done like a black or a deep grey, could have looked quite nice as well. So I'm trying to press, if you notice, I'm only pressing, I'm trying not to press in the middle in case I get any ink there. And lift it up. And go around the edge again. There we go. Next one. Is, I love um, block printing because you can just get lost hours pattern printing I'll tell you what we could do Ooh, how about we use one of the other frames on the green like the sketchy one that could look quite good content or am I trying to overcomplicate this it was going to be a really simple little tea towel wasn't it well, not that look cool <laughs> not this size this tea towel but you can do anything I will say it's easier um, to be on top when you're doing your popping your frame around it is easier to do it from the top I'm quite liking this actually it's starting to um, I always say that don't I? I always have doubts and it's like oh no it, it's kind of working I shouldn't admit it too early just in case anything goes really wrong 
I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to have to just wipe my desk a little bit. Now, I am using, oh, there you go, I did, I caught it. I'm using the oval stamp base only because you know me and my hands. What I would normally say is use a slightly bigger one so your fingers are well away from your wet paint when you're doing your stamping. I've got to admit, if I'm, the um, sketchy one is one of my favourites. I love this wobbly one, but I think that sketchy one is just... Have I got enough room there to just pop that on there? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this. Floating in midair. Make it just around the edge. If I had have ironed this, I wouldn't be getting all these little lumps and bumps down this edge. You can see I've got my hand on the pink ones we just did. And it's touch dry already, which is amazing. Bear in mind it's not like warm in here. There we go. Two more. Oh, that bit wasn't dry. Two more to go. Okay, I did drop it, but hence the. <gasps> we, we recovered. And then last one, last in our pink anyway. I'm just going to pop that down there. And see what, oh, no way near. Never mind. Um, you can see that's really quite dirty. But because it's not too bad, I can still use my cloth and just get into those nooks and crannies. The sketchy one, we've got diddly chance of me cleaning that up with a cloth that is going to be in the sink with a toothbrush so again, I'm just going around edges I'm trying not to get my cloth onto me work Thank you. I'm only cleaning this up normally I just pop it on one side and I'll go and wash it in a minute but we might want it for our green so I'm giving it a, a wash just before Grab the sketchy one. Oh, I do. I think I do think we're going to use the sketchy one. So all I need to do now is just have a rummage in my paint tub. You can see I grabbed all my big workshop boxes out. So, so I've got my paint. What colour did we use the first time? That'd be a start, wouldn't it? It was green no it wasn't it was green apple it's always helpful isn't it when they put that's a bit of a dirty green I don't quite like it and I think that one's a bit too dark isn't it that's pine green avocado green if we go for avocado green look at that one that could be nice that's that one. Oh, olive green I think we're going to go olive green, that one. The darker one. There we go. I told you I hadn't thought this bit through. I've got my pink colours out, but not my greens. <laughs> I'm going to turn my tray around again. And always make sure you give them a good shake because they've got an oil. Um, because they've got an oil base to them you just need to make sure you always have a good shake because there's nothing worse than popping them out and you're getting that layer of oil because it just needs to not the paint's not mixed properly there we go so i've just got a little bit of paint in there turn it around you might just sneak it there we go <laughs> oh sorry i went for the uh olive 
Yeah, the other one might have been a little bit better. Eek. I'll go with this one. No, I am for this one because I've got... There we go. That should pull out that way. You would obviously, if you were going to try and do this at home, you would be taking your time and making it look really, really pretty. Whereas I'm just... I'm just powering through, but I think it's going to look quite nice. Now, where did I throw my sponges? I'm going to grab one. I'll tell you what would look nice, wouldn't it? See, mine are all cut really big. Just going to cut them in half again. Because for things like this, if you were using like, you know, like the big distress rectangle, that is the perfect size. Especially if you wanted to get an ombre out of it. Yeah. Whereas for something like this where I'm trying to get a bit more detail, you want tiny, tiny sponges. Tiny sponges are the bestest. Makeup sponges are great, but they suck a lot of the paint up. Oh, you might be right, we should have gone with avocado. Mm. Oop, not struck me stamp down. This could be a bit of a disaster. There go. Stick it down on your finger now, that'll do. I'm going to start with this one down here, and then if it is a real big disaster, I might chop this side off. So I'm just going to pop that there. Could have done with even a bit bigger space between the two. Don't even know what that's off. There we go. <laughs> Let's go again. I'm having to be really careful with this one because of it being so fine the lines. If we over ink this one, we're clogging up our lines. So just really gentle. Luckily. This green is very watery. Oh, I can't see that one because my light's blinding me. There we go. I'm not sure I've just got my pink. Doesn't it look different though? Just the different effect you get with the different frames. Oops, <laughs> making a right mess. Should have wiped my spot. Should have. Um... Washed my stamp before I started. There we go. And now we've got the sketchy ones on. Inky pinkies don't really matter, do they? Because it's all sketchy now. There we go. I'm not lining up very well. I'm just going to go very gently. Just really gently all the way around. So let's see if I can get one lined up properly. Put that one there. I'm just pulling the fabric ever so gently as well because I'm working over this seam. a bit better, wouldn't it? <laughs> but can you imagine doing something like this for someone for um, that dreaded C word that's coming up in December? Do you know, if you were to do this across a tote, you could always go back in and stitch, couldn't you? As well. I'm actually quite liking this green. I can know it's um, jumping out. So again, just round on this one. I got one more after this. Just gonna wipe here, and then I can always go a little bit that way. And you know what I think we're going to do to finish it off? Because I'm on to my next step now. This bit's kind of working. So I'm now thinking about what I want to do next. And I'm thinking some 
or maybe you see this line we've got going across here would look really cool if we put some words in it and then maybe one at the side so we've got like um, strong original amazing got the standout as well put that on top of my pink one Oops. <laughs> go not looking too bad is it so that I've got no chance of cleaning now that needs to go in the sink and have a good scrub so I'm gonna pop that yeah to one side <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe underneath here because you never know do you oh it's that pink actually that's gone through the most didn't wipe after that one did I there we go right words time now and I think I want these in either a black or a really dark grey. They used to be. I don't know whether there's one still in my tub. I've got a sponge, so I don't need any sponge. They used to be a lovely, um, like, dark grey. Just for reason, we'll just make one of our own up. I'm trying black. Try not to let me box this on top of these. Oh, right, nearly empty. Well, that one isn't there. There we go. We'll make our own. Do we want it black? Mm. The only downside of so soft paints, I'm stuck with all the image in there. And um, the only downside of so soft paints is the. Um, metallics aren't that strong so you need to put a base so like with the gold I normally put a yellow base in it and why am I waffling about that is because I was thinking would I get away with it mm. no let's go with oh no I'll tell you what we'll do yeah, I did pull out my pearl there we go So I'm going to use my black. Oh, I haven't, oh, we'll have to use this very dirty hole there. That sounded odd, didn't it? <laughs> didn't shake it, that'd be a problem. Give it a quick shake. I'm going to put some black in there. Now I'm doing my words, so I need to make sure. There it is. And you've got pearl paints. So these have like a metallic sheen to them. But like I say, they've got no body to them, so they need a base to go in under them. Yeah. So the um, yeah, they need the base. Nope. Nobody apart from um, Claire and Sue's and Mum, because Mum's done some lovely samples already. They're just beautiful. And um, I've seen the monthly, the November kit that I give it to those ladies so that they can be doing some samples for me from our, from our design team. That doesn't look very grey does it, it still looks very black. So I'm going to put some normal white in because I'm gonna, not going to get any of that. It's got a bit of a pearl to it. I should have my pearl still on its head or don't I? Now it's going really pale. This is why I don't mix paint. Yeah, November's kit is cool, but very different for me. It's not my usual style. So. Saying that, this wasn't my usual style, but I'm loving it. November's is a little bit different again. I need to stop talking about November's now. <laughs> right, let me wipe it off me. Little coffee stirrer. These are brilliant for mixing your paint. Then. Right, so where's, where are my words? We're in a pile. This is where if you can stamp on sheets, it'd be so much easier just to grab the sheet ones so instead of a pile that looks like that. So, oh, we've got you rock as well, don't we? So strong. I will find them all. And we've got amazing. Mm. We 
Nici la fel, și maxim mai lăsat și mai. Ia vin. Ești cu un bochis. Ca you rock. Să vezi ce nu uităm. Bochis. Oh, there it is. So I'm trying to keep it with the um, just the stamps from the kit and obviously the poly poly because it works so well. And we have got yourself as well, haven't we? You just have be yourself. There we go. And we might do a repeat. So I think that be yourself would look quite nice here, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. So I want to stamp that one twice. Original. That's going to be. So I want like a harder one here. I'm thinking out loud. This is how my random brain works. Yep. Yeah. So if I start with strong, I think I'm only going to stamp that one once. Yep. Yeah. So let's take our strong. And I did have a little bit of tissue. It, a sponge left. I've left myself no room to work with my paints, so I'm picking up. You can see I'm, I'm trying to be really careful when I pick my paints up. This is the point where I would normally be grabbing another. Ew, what is that? Yeah, that's some fluff or something on my stamp. To be fair, it looks like the. Um, foamy bits off floof. <laughs> so I'm going to pop strong in this one. There we go. I'm going to move that to one side and then we'll pick up amazing. I might actually do... no, I'll do you rock because I think that's another one, one off. It's a problem, isn't it, when you're not quite sure what you want to eat. Oh, look at that. I've got my, oh, absolutely caked in paint. Again, just ink it up. Really gentle with cut taps. So I was sticking the end of me, me um, sponge in there just to try and get some of the, I was going to say water, paint back out. Otherwise, you's gonna look like it's got a giant like um, I filled this hole in basically. There we go. So I rescued it. Not stamped it very central though. Oh no! I'm not very good with heat guns. To be fair, I think they look at me and go, <laughs> you know. I do go through a lot of heat guns and I love the Ranger ones but I, even those I've gone through I had one for like 20 odd years and it was brilliant and then the last two I've just gone through I can hear every time I say to Mr Roo I need another one I can hear him going not another what do you do to him <laughs> but one thing one word of warning if you've gone for the Ranger one it does smoke when you first your first couple of uses because that caught me out it does smell a bit as well when, it, when you just burn off the dust off your heating elements I keep taking these stamps off don't I and I need to put some in here so let's do original twice shall we I'm just sat going there with my paint <laughs> so I just need to keep especially with this one that's quite a block there we go that's how it should look when you ink it up I mean, paint it up, ink it up, paint it up. Oh no! No! That's so good. I was, Yvonne, I was using the one my mum bought for her years and years and years ago. And then it literally just one day conked out on me. No rhyme or reason, it just went. I wasn't even using it for that long, it was like just conked one day. But I definitely think the um, Ranger ones are. Ooh. This sponge does not like me. 
I'm going to do original here as well. It's looking quite good, isn't it? I need to just do something in this one, so I'm going to go back to my dirty pile. Do you think we try and put a U rock in there? Because that would be our pattern once it repeated if we did that. Uh, I'm getting messy. It was too good to last me without getting ink everywhere. Look at the state of how much paint I've poured out for this bit. And then rock. You rock. I'm stamping cat candy there. Cat candy there. Okay, that does look cool. One last one there. So original. Oh, it'd be, be yourself. I liked that on the end though, didn't I? I'm going to put amazing in, I'm going to cheat. Where's that amazing off? I don't normally put my um, stamps back on the block after I've taken them off when they've got paint on them, but I have today. What I would normally do as well is make sure when I come to wash them, I keep them on the block for washing. Because the amount of times I've popped a little stamp down the sink, down the plug hole without realising it. And that's just not on last minute rescue with the plug on so we've got amazing and then we're going to do be yourself so I lift this one up we're nearly there ladies I've got a big splodge of ink behind that I'm not sure how I've done that never mind could have been on my um, stamp base couldn't it so again with this one oh too much ink there especially for that little bee I'm going to take some of that off that bee. Oop, I keep feeling it's all back up. That's not a good sign, is it? There we go. We know what it's meant to say, don't we? <laughs> so be yourself. So that bee, I know it's got a lot of ink in its holes. Yeah? So you'll notice. I'm not pressing that, I'm pressing my stamp, but not the B. Except for I shouldn't have pressed it too hard because yourself ended up with a, a closed. So. Yep, so again, I'm just going to ink this one up. I've not put any more paint on my sponge because obviously I had way too much on there to begin with. And I'm just going to do this one down this edge. And then I think. Mm, what do you reckon? Something like that. Ooh, jaunty handle. Yes, jaunty handle. <laughs> Only because I couldn't figure out how to. Oh, I've just put my finger on that bee, so it's probably all squished now. Mm, not too bad. There we go. I think I'm just putting my dirty stamps back onto my stamp block. I think we are done. So all I would do that with that now is just leave it. Oh, can I get it all in shot? There we go. Just, just about all together. <laughs> See, I love this. I love these ones. It was cool, wasn't it? Um, so what I'd do with this now is I would leave it for a good hour, good half hour until I think it's touch dry and then I just again just leave it on one side um, it does dry really quick though the so soft stuff all the stuff takes hours to dry and you need to heat seal it so if you were working with the Versacraft ink pads make sure you heat seal it afterwards because um, otherwise they never stick whereas this just let it dry if you get it on your clothes though if you get them in the washer dead quick you can get it to um, wash off so, like I say, great for working with kids with this stuff. Um, but leave it. Leave it for about 24 hours and then you can wash it if you want. I never pre-wash my fabrics. It says you should, but I've never done that. Um, and they've always been alright. Yeah, I quite like them. I love that pink that ended up. Should have maybe done a bit of splodging with pink behind. I can't do it now because otherwise it'll layer it. Well, there you go. That was a bit of a messy end to our October makes. 
and it's a great idea for Christmas presents as well. Just saying. Tote bags, um, stuff that you can just bring in washer dead easy. It's also great, we've done it um, on the like kids' pants before now, you know where they get like really messy bits? So I've just stamped over it to hide a yeah. pair of pants or a t-shirt. Normally t-shirts, they ended up getting pen on and things when they were little. But there you go. It's a bit different, isn't it? <gasps> Look what I've just noticed. Ah, how rude. Let's put something in that one. Can't have a pink one without some words in it, can we? What do you reckon? Don't want original again, do we? Strong. Yeah, we'll put strong in that one. I can't put it back on that stamp block because now it's absolutely caked. So I'm going to be... Ooh, maybe I won't be using strong if it don't want to stick. I think it's got bits of paint behind it. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> There's always one you miss, isn't there? Okay, so pop strong in there. There we go. Now it's right. We've got them all. PE bags, exactly. Anything like that. Um, a little lady used to have um, her dance bag. Um, with that dancer that we do on it and loads of splats and things behind it. It used to look amazing. And because she did it in pink and purple, she won't switch it now. But I've still got it. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. A little bit different, a little bit messy. Well, not actually that bad. You have, to, you have to not be messy, I think, is my problem with doing this one. The pink is much stronger than it looks in the bottle. Um, that one is, definitely. That baby pink, it, it's not it's not baby pink it looks like you say it looks baby pink in the bottle but no way that is baby pink looking at it in that bottle that to me is more like cotton candy yeah the, the colors don't ever really match up to what they say and that was the green apple which to me is just a, a, a lime green yeah to be fair, that was not that far off it's a bit brighter in real life i suppose but yeah, there you go. Quite cool. And they are fun. I do love me so soft. And they last for years. They do. Some of mine are used. Years and years old. So, there you go. I'm going to stop rabbiting now. I've made myself a bit of a messy pile. I'll to get to my laptop now. So. Okay. I'll put that there. Um, so, there you go. Um, we will be back on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, as always with something else I'm not sure what it'll be um, but it'll be something and hopefully Hamilton makes love started to arrive by then yay fingers crossed you can see my fingers crossed there we go um, so if you are waiting on your monthly make hopefully they will arrive quickly they have all gone today they looked amazing I am really pleased with how they looked um, it, was, it, was, yeah, it just looked really cool anyway I'm going to stop rabbiting I will see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> Jackie's wanting a sneaky peek. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't do sneaky peeks. Not of the monthly make anyway. That'll be for Friday. I'll show you all what's in the box on Friday. And hopefully I've caught up a bit more by then. So have a lovely rest of your day. Um, take care, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>